All right, uh, this lesson is central angles and inscribed angles. So now we're in module 19. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at that groovy website. And when you go there, make sure you click Integrated Math 2. And so there it is, and you scroll down. It's going to go right there. I don't know what color I'm going to do. So that's where it's going to go. Okay, so it's after school. You're hearing kids in the background. So our question here is, what are the measures of the central angles and inscribed angles of a circle? So here's our title right here. What do you need, Mason? Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. And so uh, what are the, the central angles and inscribed angles of a circle? And this is how we abbreviate circle. We just draw a little circle with a dot in the middle right there. Okay, so here's a circle right there. Okay, circles are named by their centers. So this is circle P right here. And there's a radius. There's a diameter. You guys have all seen those before from grade school. I know you have. There's a chord. This is a secant. This is a tangent and a point of tangency. Alrighty. So angles, you guys, we're only going to discuss a couple in this lesson. There's all kinds of different other angles, but in this lesson we're going to only do central angles. Central angles come from the center of a circle right here. So angle P is a central angle, and then we call these other ones that are called inscribed angles, where the vertex is on the circle, okay, and the sides are chords of the circle right there, okay, that's an inscribed angle. So definitions, an arc is a continuous portion of a circle consisting of two points that are called the endpoints of the circle and all the points on the circle between them. We'll talk about those in just a second. So the measure of a minor arc is the same as its central angle. Okay, so here's an arc AB, and we label it with a little arc symbol on top. So this says arc AB. So the measure of this arc right here, that's how we write it, M of arc AB says the measure of arc AB equals the measure of this angle, angle ACB right there, okay? So this arc is the same as the central angle right there. The measure of a major arc is 360 degrees minus the measure of the corresponding central angle, okay? So um, uh, this arc right here, um, ADB, is equal to 360 minus, minus this angle right here. Or if we knew this arc right here, it would be 360 minus this uh, arc right here. A whole circle is 360. You probably knew that also. Measure of a semicircle is 180 degrees because it's a half of a circle. And so here, here's a, um, the measure of this um, uh, arc right here. Whoops, we'll start here. ADB is 180. So is this. This is 180 also right there, okay? So minor arcs are always less than 180. Major arcs are always greater than 180. The arc addition postulate just says if we have a, a point that's between these two points on this circle right here, then the arc addition postulate just says that this arc plus this arc will equal the whole arc right right there okay that's what that says right there okay all right so let's try this problem right here so we get the measure of angle BCD here's BCD thank you uh, so we'll put a 18 in right there uh, and uh, the measure of arc EF where's EF okay so this right here is 33 degrees okay so let's go ahead and uh, uh, we're gonna find these other angle measures thank you Ryan we'll see you later Okay, so let's put those in right there. Okay, and then um, because um, uh, that's 18 right there, well, since this is 33, this central angle is 33, which means this is also 33 right here. These are called vertical angles, so those are also 33. What do you need, Larissa? I was going to oh. see if you had change for five. I do not. Okay. I'm sorry. Sorry, Robert. That's all right. So um, that means since this central angle is 33, so is this arc right here. That's 33 also, okay? And similarly, since this is 18, this is 18 right there, okay? So let's see. We've answered this. Arc AB is 33 degrees. Angle uh, ECF. Uh, ECF is going to be the same as... Uh, um, uh, this uh, arc right here. So if this arc is 33, so is this angle right here. And so if that's 33, so is this vertical angle, which means this arc right here is 33. This is also 33 right here. 
Okay, so even though this arc has a shorter length right here, the degree measure, this circle is still 360 around, and so is the bigger circle. It's also 360. So the degree measures are the same because they're the same as their central angle. This is also 33 degrees over there. Okay, and if that's 18, that's 18. All right, so the measure of angle ABD, okay, so ABD is going to be 33 plus 18, and I get 51 on that, okay? All right, so from 310 to 330, what is the measure of the arc formed by the minute hand? Okay, so here's 310, and then all the way down to 330. Okay, you have to first recognize that's 20 minutes. 20 minutes is a third of an hour, okay? So a third of 360, because all the way around would be one hour when it goes all the way around, is 360. So a third of that's 120 degrees. So the measure of this arc right here from 310 to 330 is 120 degrees, all right? Inscribed angles, you guys. The measure of this inscribed angle, ADB, uh, is equal to half the intercepted arc right there. Okay, inscribed angles that intercept a semicircle are right angles because semicircles are 180 degrees right there, and since it's an inscribed angle, it's half of 180, so that means it's going to be 90. Okay, so if it's 90, it's a right angle. Any inscribed angle that intercepts a, a semicircle is always a right angle. Watch if I did, uh, if I put this uh, inscribed angle in. So it's intercepting this semicircle right there. Since it's intercepting the semicircle, it makes a right angle right there. Doesn't that look like a right angle? If I did any other inscribed angle, it's going to intercept uh, the semicircle. So if I went there and then down there, if it intercepts this semicircle, it's always going to be a right angle right there. Okay, all right, so find the measures of each. Okay, so let's go ahead and find uh, the arc DE. Okay, so arc DE is going to be, look at this um, inscribed angle right there. You see that inscribed angle? Okay, the inscribed angles are half the arcs. So if that's 54, then this arc right here is going to be twice that. It's going to be twice that, so 108. Okay, arc BD. Okay, so here's arc uh, BD. So we're going to do... 18 plus 108, the arc addition postulate says we can add those together, 126, angle DAB, okay, so here's DAB, so it's going to be half this uh, 126, so I get 63, angle ADE, ADE, oh, well, that's uh, half a semicircle, so it's 90 right there, okay, arc AB, all right, so arc AB, okay, so it's going to be... Um, uh, since that's 18 right there, I'm, I somehow covered that up. Since that's 18 right there, uh, then this is going to be 180 minus the 18. So the rest of this semicircle on top is 162. All right, let's try that with this one here. So we have the measure of angle EDF. Uh, here's E. D, F, so that's this angle, is uh, 15, and arc A, F is 94. Let's put that in there, okay? So arc A, B, you guys, is going to be the rest of this semicircle, so 180 minus 94 is 86. Uh, arc F, E, arc F, E, remember, here's an inscribed angle, so this is half this arc, so if I double 15, that's going to get me 30 right there. Arc AE. AE is right here to here, so we're going to add 94 and 30. That's going to give us 124. Angle ABE. That's an inscribed angle. It's going to be half that intercepted arc right there. Okay, so it's going to be half that 124, which is 62. And then finally, FBE. So here's FBE. E, it's going to be half, because it's an inscribed angle, it's going to be half this arc right here. It's also 15 degrees right there. All right, if you are in our class, that's going to be your homework. Take care.